In this video, we're going to be repairing the cracked camera glass on this iPhone 7. It might be hard to tell due to the lighting, but towards the bottom, the glass did crack into tiny little pieces. First, we start off by powering off the phone. Next, we grab our Penelope screwdriver and remove the two bottom screws. Now it's time to get our pry tool and our pick and start cutting through the adhesive. Once we open up the phone, we want to remove the six screws holding down the two brackets. After removing our first bracket, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery so we don't cause any shorts on the board. Don't forget to disconnect the ear speaker and sensors. Now that we have our screen off, we'll probably be refurbishing this in a future video. Next, we want to go ahead and remove the two screws holding down the camera bracket. I had to pull out the tweezers since I was having trouble removing that last screw. I decided to move part of the seal to avoid the chance of it getting caught on the camera when removing it. After carefully disconnecting the camera, it is now time to remove this tiny 12 megapixel component. Whenever I remove a camera, I like to place it on these lint-free towels to avoid getting any debris or lint on the actual camera itself. Let's put this tiny little thing to the side to avoid getting it dirty or damaging it. I'm going to be placing this microfiber towel underneath the phone since I am going to be using a glass breaking tool and I don't want it to go through and damage my desk. Now I want to go ahead and break off that damaged camera lens. After breaking off the majority of the glass, we could then scrape off the remaining shards left. If you have any ISO 99 laying around, go ahead and apply some to loosen up the adhesive on the remaining glass. Try not to damage or scratch that small frame so the new camera glass could sit flush and properly adhere. After removing the remaining glass and adhesive, you want to make sure the area is squeaky clean before applying your new adhesive. So if you have any lint-free q-tips, pull those out and make sure the area is cleaned well. That first one was a little too thick, so I decided to use these smaller ones instead. Now we want to have our new camera lens and adhesive ready. If you have B7000 laying around, that works well, but in my case I have some cold pressed glue, so I'm going to use that instead. If you're still watching and you're enjoying the content, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more repairs. Thank you. Try to evenly apply the adhesive and don't apply too much because it will just leave you a bigger mess to clean up afterwards. Before applying the new camera glass, make sure the shiny side is facing you so you know it's the correct way. Since the screen on this phone is already slightly cracked, I'm going to be placing it back so that the clamp that I'm going to use has more surface area to grip onto when tightening it. If you end up doing the same, which I don't fully recommend, make sure you don't over tighten that clamp so you don't accidentally crack your screen. If you don't have any clamps, you could try using some old textbooks or something heavy that will evenly apply pressure to the camera glass. Since the cold press glue that I use takes longer to cure, I let it sit overnight just to be on the safe side. Now it's time to clean any remaining residue. Try not to use too much alcohol because it could loosen up that adhesive and cause the camera lens to fall off. After removing the screen, we could now clean the inside of the lens. I tried not to apply too much pressure when doing this so that camera lens wouldn't fall off. Once 
Once I cleaned off that remaining adhesive, I used some ISO to give the lens a streak-free finish. Now that we finished cleaning the inside of the lens, we could put the camera back and give it a quick test to see if everything is to our liking. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be using a new screen so we could see that everything looks good. After going through the different modes, we could see that everything is functioning as it should and no debris was left inside the camera lens. Alright, well there you have it guys. If you're interested in seeing future repairs, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.